Uh, that's good enough. Good morning, partner. How's it going, guys? All right, we got a busy, busy day ahead of us. I'm already way ahead of schedule, which is great. We just got the Jeep SRT up on jack stands so I can remove all four wheels and tires so we can change the color of them. Finally. 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 Does not, I mean, the silver looks good, but. Black is gonna look videos. the best. It's gonna go gloss black. I cannot wait to see it with this dark, dark red to black iridescent wrap. Um, another thing, you guys are probably wondering why we're doing this out in the parking lot. Um, and that's because we have a car being dropped off later today to get a full color change wrap and we need the shot for that. Yeah, we can't put any cars in there. So the Jeep unfortunately is gonna have to sit outside We're until the wheels pretty, are done. Uh, gonna look pretty trashy it's gonna look a minute. little silly. <laughs> so if you guys look really closely, there's a lot of darn curb rash on these wheels. We bought it like this. Um, so luckily the company that we have picked is gonna refinish that make them all smooth and then powder coat them black. So I'm really excited. Also, number one reason why you should not move to Utah is the rock chips. The roads are covered in rocks and this wrap is already chewed up. We've had this wrap on for maybe two weeks. What the heck? Dude, it's crazy. The roads out here are just crazy. Oh snap. Breaking out the big boy. Someone tighten the lug nuts too tight? Way too tight. Clayton is the man. He's getting the wheels loaded up. We're using the Ford Transit because, to be honest, I don't think all the, the wheels are going to fit in the, the XJ. So for the next couple days, uh, <laughs> this is going to be the SRT. Well, folks, we are officially those neighbors. Um, that's going to be a sight for the next couple days, that's for sure. We got all the wheels to fit here in our makeshift wheel carrier Ford Transit van. I ended up uh, unloading all of the detailing chemicals. We have made it to Salt Lake City and uh, for us, we don't normally come down to Salt Lake City often, but when we do, we like to uh, create a little tradition of ours where we go to Mobetta's and it, old time subscribers will know that Mobetta's is pretty special to us because we did have it catered to our wedding. <laughs> That's how it's good it great. is. So we're stopping here at Mobetta's. We're gonna get a quick bite to eat and then it's back on the road to get the wheels powder coated. Mm -mm -mm. So good and tasty. Oh my gosh. One thing you should expect when eating Mobetta's is to want a fat nap after. Yeah, the desire's real. We've been driving for like 10 minutes and uh, I'm already falling asleep. Someone's falling asleep. We only have like 10 minutes to go. It's not even that far of a drive. Oh, yeah. oh. For some reason, Clayton is just falling asleep, so he requested um, some music to wake him up. So without further ado. Jellyfish. Okay, so we just arrived here at Top Coat Finishing Solutions. This is a, a powder coating shop up in Ogden, Utah, so it's a little bit far away from our shop, but I'm happy to travel the distance because uh, these guys, they're car buddies of ours. They have a yellow first-gen Gallardo with blue wheels. That's how I knew they did powder coating. I asked them about the blue wheels. They're like, yeah, we powder coat wheels. So we just dropped off the wheels. They're gonna be doing a full sandblasting and etching on them where they're gonna sand down the edges, fix all of the curb rash um, on on the wheels and then they're going gloss black and uh, they said it's gonna take two days which I think is awesome so we'll pick them up in two days I'm gonna quickly show you guys the inside of their shop right here it's really really cool they have a huge oven so this area right here is where they blow the powder onto the parts this is where they bake it over there is like the prep station where they do sandblasting outside and then they prep it right there and these are about to go in Nice. Powder coating is pretty cool. This shop is awesome. They have an oven right there. Can you imagine how many pizzas you could fit in there? Yeah, how many pizzas do you guys think you could cook in an oven that's 50, 50 feet long? Uh, yeah, you could get a lot of pizzas in there. A lot of pizzas. <laughs> <That was great. laughs> it's a little loud, but I want to show you this awesome Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> that's just awesome. Love it. Love it. Hey. Bye bye. You gonna make it home? I think I'll make it home. I'm gonna stop and get a big gold. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. So American of you. What do you guys? Uh, what do you guys think? What kind of soda do you think I drink all the time? 
Pepsi. Is I don't know, Pepsi? Is it Coke in here? Is it Diet Coke? Diet Pepsi? It's probably Dr. Just Pepper. Salty water because you love salt so much. Just salt, salt water. Yeah, that's gross. Let me tell you guys a little story. I don't want any of your salty water, Clayton. When we go to Texas Roadhouse, Clayton really likes to put butter on his rolls and then salt. Not at Texas Roadhouse. Texas Roadhouse has the cinnamon butter. That's totally. You've good. done it at Texas Roadhouse. Nope, no, no. Yes, you have. Nope, nope, yes, you wrong. have. Wrong. He, he is addicted to salt, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna hold an intervention for him too because it's, it's really salt, gross. Salt is good. We are back at the shop and we gotta meet a client here any second to uh, take delivery of another another wrap. Yeah, so, full color uh, change wrap. We just finished Nick's Mustang. Now we got another one. Right, hot on its heels. Hot on its heels, let's do this. So the client just arrived um, and it's pretty much procedure to meet with the client, go over the car and make sure that we're both on the same level of what's going on. Um, so Clayton is outside right now talking with the client, making sure uh, we know what we're doing. That Range Rover outside is going this really cool matte charcoal color. So yeah, according to this client, he didn't realize he bought such a mom car. So he's trying to make his mom car look a little bit cooler by getting like a matte gray wrap on it, which I think is a fantastic idea. So yeah, what we, all we have to do left is finish cleaning the garage floor. Then we will get to washing the Range Rover and pulling it in. Okay, the car is washed and dried. Um, we're gonna wait a little bit before we start disassembling it just so the rest of the car can dry a little, up a little bit more. So until then, uh, how do you like your new computer? Dude, this thing's awesome. We're still installing some programs and stuff like that. Uh, but as you guys can see, power's on just fine. Ooh, both oh, both things work. I read all your comments. A lot of people said to move the graphics card up to the top slot. So I just went for it. I actually like the way it looks a lot more. But Yay! as you guys can see, we're up and running. I got my Steam account right here. We're downloading some games. Ooh, right ooh. now, all I have is Counter-Strike. Uh, but we need to down some, uh, download some uh, What's the term? Newbie. Noob. Oh, you're the noob. Why am I the noob? Mm -hmm. you don't I'm sure I've played games. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is our computer. You, all right. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is the day after. Today we are picking up the wheels, but check out how much work I got done on the Range Rover. So this is probably one of the easiest cars I've ever taken apart. Uh, it took me maybe two hours to get it to this point. So that was pretty nice. We are heading out to go get the wheel. Looks like we got a little bit of snow last night and uh, thankfully the Jeep is still standing. That's a blessing. Ready to go, Sal? You ready to go? All right, so after a long drive, we finally made it back to Top Coat Finishings up here in Ogden, and they said the wheels turned out really, really good. Let's go check them out. Yeah, we just put these back in there. All right. Heck yeah. I remember seeing them so, way what'd back. what you think? <laughs> they look good? He gives it a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Job well done. So we are about to load up the wheels and I love them so much. What do you think, buddy? Everybody loves you here. The guys here at Top Coat Finishing are just so nice, but I am so stoked for these bad boys to go back on the Jeep. So we're just about to head out, uh, but Bug here, he's got a YouTube channel as well with some really, really fun videos. It's called Bug BMX. Link is in the sure. description below. Check them out. Another local Utah All YouTuber. Right. Utah boys out here, we killing it. <laughs> All right, we got the tires mounted on the wheels and we just ceramic coated the wheels, so we are gonna plop them back on the Jeep so the Jeep's not so hood rat anymore. The color looks so good. 
these black wheels he looks even better man this looks so much better with black i know wheels. like night and day a night and day difference for sure thank you guys again at top coat finishing you guys did a fantastic job yeah they killed it this guy out here working in just a t-shirt you just gotta stay moving that's the trick <laughs> I, i'm like sweating i'm pretty sure i'm moving but i'm freezing Guys, it's freezing out here, but I like, I'm so stoked on this color. It's pretty much finally complete. The color scheme has come together and it looks really good. Just makes me want to go do more donuts. Oh, it's tripping. You probably go do donuts in like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah, considering all the snow. Yeah. Jeez, get them all dirty. Mr. Saga, do you like the new black wheels? Huh? Hmm? All right, we've been hard at work. This car is actually very easy to wrap, but check out what the heck is going on outside. So, uh, oh my gosh. We're gonna go do some donuts. Let's do some donuts. <laughs> Just for you guys, I'm gonna let you watch me attempt to clear the chip. <laughs> really? Really? Let's see if my puny... Okay. Some pretty good snow, jeez. That's good enough. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, man. today's video I really hope you enjoyed it so this was a different type of video than we normally post did you guys like it it was more of like following us around while we ran errands a day in the life kind of thing while we got the wheels powder coated black I thought it was kind of cool a little different if you hated it no hard feelings let us Just know let us know <laughs> let's know down below but uh, also congrats to the burlacker who hit 100k that's a huge milestone he's gonna get his YouTube plaque uh, stay tuned for more Cayman updates Maybe some more Ferrari updates if the snow stops. There's no way we can drive the Ferrari in the snow. No way. Uh, but yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.